On this video, I'm going to show you how I pack all this into this. Keep watching. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our and This is our adventures. Oh! Here we go. over my tips and tricks on packing for a trip. Since we're not taking the RV, I can't take everything I want or think that I might need. So then I have to dial it back just a bit. If you're an overpacker like me, it is so hard to pack small. We're going to Helen, Georgia and we're leaving on Thursday and coming back on Monday. And the dogs have got to go too. So we have to pack all their stuff. Now I just kind of thought why not do a video about packing small? Since I'm one of the worst people about packing small, I'm gonna give you tips and tricks how somebody who wants to take everything is gonna pack small. Wish me luck. The first thing that I do that helps me when I'm going on a trip, people make fun of me all the time, but these clothes, I mean, we're still, a week or so away from leaving. And these clothes have been laying here for probably already a few weeks. About a month out from my trip, I start laying out things that I think that I'm going to want and take. And I look at it daily and change things out. I make piles of clothes and I go ahead and put outfits together. I even put the hat that I wanna wear with that in the outfit. I know things, it changes constantly, and this does change constantly. And I even wear some of this, so I'll take it, wear it, wash it, and put it back. And people are like, isn't that like a lot of work? It is, but for me, if I tried two or three days or the day of to pack everything, every time I totally forget so much stuff. But typically when I pack this far in advance and I kind of watch my wardrobe evolve, then I'm able to not forget stuff. And that's just my way. Since the place that we're going in Helen, Georgia, since you gotta walk to get to it, I don't wanna be dragging suitcases. So I'm gonna try to pack all my stuff in that one small, carry bag. I'm scared. The first key to try and pack small is a packing cube. You can get them off of Amazon. These are the Trip brand. That's a couple. It's Tim and Thin. They're on YouTube. If you don't watch them, um, you can go see them. They travel a lot. And they made these packing cubes. But these packing cubes are really neat because like, if you need this size, you can do this, but let's just say that you need a bigger packing cube. You can unzip it and extend it. So it makes a big packing cube. And they come in, you get, in the kit that I, that I have, you get two of this size, you get two small ones, and they do the exact same thing. They expand as well. Then you get like this little, little bag, and then, you get a laundry bag so that you can pack stuff when you come back. Also, when you're packing in a small bag, shoes, and shoes is where I have an issue most of the time. I like got several that I want to take because I love shoes. But you want to try to pack, like, I'm going to pack my flip-flops in the bag, but I'm going to wear my bulky tennis shoes the day that we're going and traveling. So you want to try to wear the bulkiest shoes that you're taking the day of travel so that you don't have to pack them. I like when I'm packing to put outfits together and match up everything and then pack them together. I'll show you how I roll them up to get them in the bags. 
So I take an outfit, like this is my bandana that I'm gonna wear, these are my shorts. So on this shirt, I'm just gonna lay the shirt out. I'm gonna fold my shorts over, put them inside. And then my bandana that I want to wear with this outfit. Then I'm gonna fold the shirt over my shorts on each side. And then we're gonna just roll it up. Make that. And then I stick it in the bottom of this bag. So that's one outfit's in there. So I'm gonna keep rolling some more and to show you how they go in there. in this packing cube. There is five full outfits. And that's like in this bit. Now that's really seriously all I should be able to have to take. But I have to take extras. But still, because I've packed down so small, I can take extras. One thing that I try to do is I'll try like this trip because I'll probably mostly wear shorts. And I think it's gonna be cooler at night but I still can wear shorts and like a long sleeve shirt and be comfortable. So I'll have like a pair of shorts and I'll have two tops maybe with that pair of shorts. That way I can change it up a little bit. So let me finish packing this other cube and then I'm gonna show you some other stuff. Now on top of this packing cube, cause there's still a lot of room, I'm just gonna throw a few little things on top. That way they're in there. So now I have seven full outfits and two extra tops in this two little bags. You're gonna wanna throw inside there, you can throw your socks in there. If you're taking another pair of tennis shoes or something like this, stuff things down in here because that's prime real estate that you can use to take more stuff. I like to take on my trips like a roller, a small sewing kit, and then some fingernail clippers or something like that because you might need that. But that's like a little kit that I take. And you can just throw these in like a little bag. Something that I found for this trip that I'm kind of excited about, when we go on hikes, I take my backpack, but I have my phone. And I'm constantly getting my phone in and out of my backpack and like my arm. And then too, if like we're in a busier place and my phone is just in the edge of the backpack, somebody could come up and snatch it. And I'm always like worried about it. Well, if I'm wearing leggings or shorts or something and I don't have pockets to put them in, that makes it hard. But I found this, I know, it's a fanny pack. Some people hate them, but this one's like stretchy and it has a place for my phone. And I believe it's gonna go like up under my clothes really well. And then I can put my phone in there and you'll never even know that this is there. Or I mean, even if it is, and it's got some places for like, you can put money or your keys. It's got like a little key hook here. And then it's got like a little money pocket that you could put money in. So I'll let you know how this does. I think I'm gonna like this, especially on long hikes. This is for going to hell in Georgia. Another thing to help pack light is miniatures. If you can find like your shampoo and conditioner that you use and pack a miniature and just pack enough for your trip, that would be great. And since you're packing miniature, a lot of times I like putting my makeup and my my lotion and my shampoo and all that in separate bags in case it busts or something happens and it doesn't get all over my clothes. But when I'm packing small and I'm trying to get it all in one bag, a few things that I do that help prevent this is I will take the lids off, take saran wrap, lay it over this, and then put the lid back on 
So that's one barrier. Then I will take this and put it in a Ziploc bag and zip it up. So that's second layer. And then our suitcases came with these cool, they're like water tight, they're not proof, but water tight looking little bags. And then I put all my stuff inside that. So that's three layers to try to keep these from messing up. You can buy miniatures of all kinds of stuff, but if you can't find a miniature of what you love, you can buy a couple little containers and fill them up with your favorite conditioner or shampoo. So this is another way. Also, another cool way to, to carry something like maybe some face cream that you're only gonna be gone for a weekend but you don't wanna take your whole bottle, you can get like contact cases and you can fill up a little bit in those and then you can just open them up and use that as well. That's another way to help minimize what you're caking. Another thing that I like to buy like when we're going on a trip like this is we may go swimming or something and we'll have wet bathing suits that you don't want to put in your bag. You can get these little dry bags so you can, they, they work two ways. One, you can put stuff in them to keep it dry so that if you get caught in a downpour rain or something, you have that. But also, you can put your bathing suits on here and then fill them up and then put them in your bag. And then you don't have to worry about your bathing suit getting everything in your bag wet as well. I have a few of these. They're different sizes. And that way, you can go from this to this. Another thing I use these for when I'm packing. When I'm packing small, I don't like my shoes touching my clothes because, of course, they're nasty. They've been walking around on the ground. So, I stick them in these dry proof bags and then stick them in my bag. That way, I'm toting, carrying the bag and then I have my shoes separate from my clothes. I try to always take a rain jacket because when you're traveling, you never know if it's gonna rain or not, and a lot of times you can't change your plans because it's raining. So you just go walk in the rain and you have a rain jacket to take. We just stick these bags in here. These packing cubes fit perfectly sideways in this bag. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but I have a ton of room left in here and I have all my clothes, they're all in there. The good thing about these bags is if you put stuff in them and you don't need to expand them. So I got all the clothes here in this bag and I still have room in here. And you want extra room because it's like anything. When you come back, this all fit, but if you cram this so full that you could barely zip it, it's not coming back. The clothes grow. I don't know why, but they do. So this bag is just nothing but my clothes. This bag is gonna be our bathing suits, our towels, cause we're gonna need beach towels and we need extra towels for the dogs because the place that we're staying has a creek, a little waterfall beside it and a creek that runs under the porch. And it said to bring extra towels for your dogs because I can see Vail running out there and jumping in the water every time we walk out. So we're having to bring extra towels for that. But this is going to be like our bathing suit bag and all that. So we're going to end up taking three bags. It's going to be one for my clothes, one for Bill's clothes, and then one for the dogs. I know there's a lot of videos out there about packing, but I just wanted to kind of tell you my tips and tricks that I use. Maybe you learned something. If you've got a tip that you want to tell me about, leave it in the comments below because there are so many tips and tricks to packing and everybody does it different. I'm excited about Helen, Georgia. We love it and we're gonna try to do some different things than we did last time. Now food wise, we will probably go to the troll every night and have a drink and then to Big Daddy's to eat dinner. <laughs> That's kind of our theme. We have hit 600 subscribers this week and thank, thank you everybody so much for subscribing to our channel and enjoying our videos. It means the world to us because 
we love our family and we love helping y'all and we love and we love having y'all as our family. So please, please like and subscribe if you're not already so that you can watch all our cool adventures. Till next time.